What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and today I want to play another retro game, this time Tecmo Super Bowl, arguably the most beloved football game of all time. It still holds up to this day. It's one of the few games I never got into. I guess I was already into the Super Nintendo and stuff by then doing other things, but if you ever want to sink your teeth into a really old school football game and get a lot out of it, this is the game for you. So today we're going to do like a basic overview. I'll go through all kind of what the game offers. And then we will play a full exhibition game because one exhibition game don't take very long at all. So let's go ahead and start. Now you got a preseason. This is your basic exhibition mode. You got season game. This is where you go through an entire season. I've never done that, but I've heard it's a lot of fun. And even though this game is really built off of two guys playing against each other, two human opponents, if you still want to do the single player thing, this is definitely the mode for you. Pro Bowl, it's just got your two, the AFC and the NFC teams going at each other. Then you got all the team data. Now, this is what separates this game from a lot of other ones way back in the day. If you go to team data, you can select, you know, any one of these teams. Like we could go to like the Houston Oilers, for example. They're a popular team. And what makes this game so much fun is the rosters are so different from each other. They got the actual guys in here from back in the 91, 92 season, I believe, but they actually have player ratings. That matters. You know, in the previous retro game I played, instant play football, all the teams are exactly the same. There is no player differ differentiation anywhere, but there is definitely some here. So like I can go to Warren Moon and he has, you know, pass accuracy and pass control. All of that really matters in this game, which is really cool. That's what brings the chess match and the strategy stuff to this game is when you do all those matchups against all these different teams. Just so much fun. So what we can do, like you can change up the offensive starters, the depth chart. Then you got the playbook. This is where I get a little excited. You go to the playbook, and here is the Houston Oilers playbook. Now, the first Tecmo Bowl game, you have four plays, two runs and two passes. Well, two, Tecmo Super Bowl went up a level and decided to do four runs and four passes. And this was the game that had the full 22 players on the field. I think Tecmo Bowl only had, it might have been a seven on seven, if I'm not mistaken. But each team has their own specific playbook. What's even more cool is you can go to either one of these. If you don't like it, you can switch it out for any one of the, I think there's 64 plays <clears throat> in this game. Incredible. So you can really set up your own playbook to get exactly how you want it to fit your particular roster. Awesome. Now, we're not going to do that today. It's been so long since I've played this, I can't tell you what's really good and what isn't. There are plenty of websites out there and experts in videos of guys really breaking down like a lot of these plays. Now, one thing I thought about doing is this is the one game where, from the NES football-wise, where it's worth having multiple series and videos and breakdowns of all the rosters. Like, I can really see myself... If I got into this game big time, I would love to do an entire video on each team, break down every one of the players, and go through all of this stuff. I think that'd be really cool. Then you could do separate videos on all their playbooks, maybe what's the best playbook for that particular team. That would be a whole lot of fun. I mean, you could go on and on with this game. So I wanted to show you all that. Like, you go to offensive starters, and you could just switch them out. Now, what's interesting, you know, this is back in 91, 92, Houston Oilers, they ran the run-and-shoot offense, the old school. You see the four-wide setup they got here. This is their base set, so you have kind of have to work off that. So if you went off a different team, like uh, go to the Cincinnati Bengals, that's my favorite team. You go to offensive starters, and look, they run a split-back pro set. That is their base, which is really cool. So you kind of have to work off of that as well. Just so much strategy in this game. And that's just, you know, what's so funny is there's so much strategy, yet the arcade game itself, the, the gameplay is so simple. There's not a whole lot to that. It's just when you match up teams and try to get the most out of them, that's when it gets really fun. I mean, it's just incredible the depth they put into this game for it being 30 years old. So you can back out of this, and what we can do is we can go ahead and just play a game. Now, you got a lot of options here, man versus computer. Then you got, you know, a one-on-one -on -one human, you know, versus human. And you can do coach mode, which is, think about that, 30-year-old game, and they had coach mode in this thing, which is pretty cool. But I'm going to go up against the computer. I will be the Cincinnati Bengals, and let's go up against, uh, I don't remember some of these teams, if they were good or not. Let's go up against the Minnesota Vikings. 
All right. And you're right into it, out of the gate. Check out those graphics. Insane. Love them. Let's we won the toss. Uh, let's return it. The controls are very simple. Everything you could do in this game, you hit the A button other than pass. You pass the ball with the B button. That's it. That's all you kind of really need to know about that. Do a little dag. Oh, can I get open? Yeah, break the tackle. Okay. Now, uh, you can see our playbook right here. We got a couple of decent running backs, if I remember, and a couple of decent receivers. I know our offense is better than our defense. Again, it's been forever since I've played with this team. And what's so cool about Tech Mobile in terms of, like, defense... Let's see if I... Break the tech. Break the tech. A little run there. Is the defense just has to pick the the play that you think you picked. Or they, they think you picked. And that's kind of it, really. Pretty cool. Let's pick a pass play. It's a pure progression read system. As soon as you snap the ball, you got your number one read, your number two read, and so on and so forth. Let's see if I can pass it. Let's go to him. He looks open. It got... Tipped at the line of scrimmage. So what is a second of ten? Let's run the ball. Make up for that. Let's do a off tackle to the top of the field. Looks like we're gonna get a decent gain out of this one. Now my fullback is not too bad, to be honest. Go, go. Got to keep daggling. That's the famous Bo Jackson stuff you gotta do. You gotta go daggling a lot of times to get away from people. We could try another pass play. Um, this one, uh, I don't know what it's called. The third one from the right looks very interesting. It's play action. Wide open. Get him. Get him. Touchdown. That's a touchdown. Awesome little play there. You can't do any instant replay, but that's okay. Boomer Esiason. Kicking is very simple. At least on extra points, you just got to try to get it up the middle of the field. Now, I've done a terrible job of that. I still got the extra point. I, I guess you can miss extra points in this game. I'm not real sure. It probably depends on your kicker. They got their own ratings as well. Check out that music. That's awesome. Oh, somebody get him. My kicker's slow. What are they going to do? I I'm going to guess they're going to run to the bottom. Now, I don't know who my best player is on defense. I, I completely forgot. Let's go with this corner. Oh, crap. Look at him go all the way. Oh, that corner's terrible. You notice how slow he is. Speed is everything in this game. Let's pick this guy. That's fine. Oh, they're going with a verse. Somebody go back there. Get him. Somebody make a tackle. It's going to take me a while to get used to these. Like I said, I've always heard the strategy is to pick your best defender. Oh, they're going with the exact same play. No, they faked it. Whoever your fastest or best defender is on defense, that's who you need to control. I just don't know who that is at the moment, because, again, it's been so long since I played it. Oh, how did, why did I stop? I stopped for some reason. They're moving right down the field. Let's go. Let's do, I think they're going to do a toss play. I guess. Nope. I guess correctly. Nope. Reverse. Oh, wow. They got an awesome playbook. They got reverses and fake reverses. And it's an incomplete. We'll take it. Think, oh, that's a cool little playbook. That's a good combination of things. Now, if you're going up against a computer, I'd, some of this combination stuff doesn't really matter, but you could get real strategic when you're going up against other players. Wide open. Oh, he dropped it. We'll take it. It is third and ten. I'm guessing they are going to throw it, so we'll just pick a pass play. I'll control a defensive end because I don't know who else to go after. They're going with... Get him. Oh, I thought I was going to get the sack. Incomplete. So they are going to punt it. Nope, they're going to kick a field goal. I didn't know where they were. He's going to make it. It looks true. Oh, he missed it. We'll take it. Awesome. Uh, let's do a draw up the middle. The quarter's about over with. I told you this game's pretty quick. Oh, they got they blew that one up easily. All right, end of the quarter, seven to nothing. Uh, let's. I'm gonna do another run play. They may not be expecting it. And yeah, we may get some yards out of this one. Didn't get the first. Let's go with. Uh, let's do a pass. I probably should have ran the ball third and four. 
I went play action. He's wide open, though. Wide open. Oh, terrible throw, Boomer. Let's hope we got to punt it. Punting is really quick. You got to be really on top of it if you're not careful. Otherwise, it could be a terrible punt. Knock that one out. That's practically a field goal. All right. I'm going to guess they're going to run, and I picked the wrong play. We got to go back. Who's open? Interception! Uh oh, a fumble! We still get the ball back. All right, let's run the ball. And I'm gonna get something out of it, not a whole lot. My fullback can run a little bit. I probably need to move my direct or my D pad around. I probably need to put it on my joystick or something. It just feels weird. Let's do another run play. Hot, 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 hot. This is probably my favorite run play of their playbook. Now, if I was going to play a season, I would pick, I'd create my own playbook and really fit the roster. Just makes sense to me. Let's go with a deep bomb type stuff here. Ooh, oh, that was a dumb mistake. He's wide open. He went too far. Intercept. That was my fault. That was a terrible play. Terrible play call. I completely botched that one. That's cool. You can keep going and shuffle around to the guy you want to control. Then they'll snap it. So that's convenient. That reverse play is awesome. I'm not going to lie. We stopped it, though. Second and nine. Ah, uh, let's go. I think they're going to do a bunch of curls. Let's pick that. Let's control this defensive end. Get him. Somebody get him. It's a good tackle there. Now it's third and six. They're calling a timeout because the half's about over with. I think they're, hmm, I think they're going to run it. I'm going to just take a chance. No, play action. Oh, that's an easy touchdown for him. Interception. Oh, it got right in the front of it. That's awesome. Good interception, Al. Now, the clock is going, so let's, we need to pass the ball. I think they got good coverage on this one. Yeah, terrible throw. Terrible throw by Boomer. Let's pick another one. I don't know my progressions. Like when I snap it, who's my number one guy? He's wide open. Let's go to him. There we go. Get out of bounds. Oh, uh, where are we? It's 43 seconds. I don't need to do play action. The play I've heard the play action plays aren't very good in this game, so. I don't know if I'd use those, but again, this would be something I just want to play around with and practice myself. Let's get out of bounds. 32 seconds. I may just want to keep running, to be honest. Uh, but it's probably my best interest to throw. Where are we? It doesn't say where you're at on the field. Oh, there it is. We're like on the 20. Okay. It's at the very bottom. Now, I may be too close to the end zone. Touchdown. Six points. I didn't know how far or how much room I had. That's a good touchdown to Tim McGee. Okay. Should be tried and true on the extra point. So how many seconds are left? Uh, there are... We're about to find out. 21 seconds. We'll have to do a prevent defense because you can definitely get a full length of the field touchdown in this game. Somebody get him. Oh no! Somebody get him! That was actually a good play for us. He <laughs> that ran out the clock. And it is halftime. Get a look at some cheerleaders. This game's a lot of fun. It's very... The gameplay is simplistic, but the strategy is very deep. That's a good combination to have. Especially for a game this old. Alright. Third quarter. Let's get at it. Somebody get him. Good stop there. Uh, I think they're going to run up the middle. I don't know. I don't know their uh, offense really well. That's a good guess, though. Uh, I think they're going to pass. I may have picked the wrong play. My defensive end just got destroyed. Got a sack by Carl Zander. And let's pick a pass play. Third and 15. Going with that crazy triple super. Oh, that should have been intercepted. It's 
Good play. That's a cool trick play, I'm not going to lie. As long as you can get it off. There's a lot of moving parts at the backfield for it to work. But Now, I've heard putt return is terrible, so let's just get down here if you can. They said it just get out of bounds as quickly as possible. Let's see. We'll go up the up top here. Did I, I didn't get the first. Did I get the first? Ah, I didn't get the first. That's okay. Second down. Let's go up to Guts with Brooks. And we got the first at least. Let's do a play action. Again, I need a... That's the one that I really want to fool around with these playbooks and see, you know, learn who my progressions are and stuff. Oh, that's intercepted. Oh, we're very fortunate I didn't get picked off. Terrible throw. Let's make up for it. Let's try to run the ball. Not a very good play at all, so we're going to have to pass. I'm not a big fan of some of these pass plays. I Let's, okay, two minutes to go. Let's go. Let's go here. Going with another deep ball play. Hey, let's just go to him. I think he's covered. That's hey, just a bad throw. So we got to punt the ball. That's good defense by Minnesota. And that's a terrible punt. I hit the button way too early. That actually may be all right. No, it's still going to be a touchback. He's going to take it out. Nope, he went touchback. I don't know what they're going to call. I like their little, you know, playbook, though. It's a nice little combination of trickery and such. It would confuse me. Because that's one of the... If you're going up against a human opponent, it's always, like, a decent idea to have, like, at least some of your plays look the same, same formations and such, which makes complete sense. Now, if I'm going up against the computer in season mode, I guess that doesn't make a difference. It could. I'm not really sure. That fake play has been killing us. Oh, he may be gone. And he's gone. Somebody get him. Get him. Get him. Crazy play. Big gain for them. I think they're going to run. I don't know. I... Uh-oh. It's a good tackle by myself. Save the possible touchdown. I think they're going to pass. I got. I picked the shotgun plan. I picked the wrong one. Get back. Where am I at? Why did I... Oh, then that the, the reverse again. Was, those reversers are kill me. That's awesome, though, that they got that in here. Ton of all these... I, I want to practice a lot of these plays. It looks like it's so much fun to fool around with them. Problem is, you really can't practice them other than in the game itself. There's no practice mode, but that's okay. Somebody's open. Went to the wrong guy. I'm fine with that. I think they're going to run to make up for it. I picked the right play. Yeah, picked the right play. So it's third and 16. Let's just pick a deep ball. I control this defensive end. Get him. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, they call that an incomplete pass. <laughs> and they're going to go for it, which makes sense. So we picked another deep ball. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the basic reverse. Somebody get him. Big stop. That's probably the game right there. It's very hard to get a huge cut. I mean, anything's possible in this game. Like, you can... If you're down a couple touchdowns, if you you know if you call the right plays and make the right moves, you can get a comeback, but it can't be tough to do so. They're going to give me the first down? No. Just short? Let's pick... Uh, let's fool around with this draw play. I've heard draws don't work all that well in this game. I guess it all depends on which play they pick. So you get something out of it. We got the first at least. Let's keep running the ball. I'm going to go up the gut again. Uh-oh. He gone. Get about eight yards there. Let's just pick another run play. I feel like there's no need to really run the ball, or to pass the ball. The passing game hasn't been helping us a whole lot. I'm just not very good at it yet. That, I don't think my pass plays are the best. Now, what's really cool, you can substitute players in and out during the game. 
like you can go to change and you can sub guys out because some of these guys, like if you click on assassin, no, I don't want that. You can click and see, I, where's it at? There's a way to tell if they're tired or not. I, I just don't know how to do that from here. That's something I'll have to learn. But either way, that's a cool thing that you can do. Let's run the ball again. I don't know if we'll be able to run out the clock. It'll be interesting to see if we can do that. Let's get stop there. Second and seven. They're calling another timeout. We want to stay in bounds, so let's run up the gut. Up the A-gap. That's cool that you can do that in this game. You don't always have to go to the outside. It all depends on which play the defense picks to try to stop. So we're getting our first downs, we're running the ball, and they're wasting their timeouts. Like, here's another first down. Uh-oh, uh-oh! He made me go! Take it to the house, son! Go, go, go! Ah! Great run by Brooks. And let's give him a bit of a break, and let's go to our fullback. Let's see if we can finish off with a touchdown. Can he get in? Ah. Oh. oh, he broke the tackle for six points! Ah! Touchdown, Ike Woods. Perfect extra point, should be. And that should be the game. Yes, there's time left. It'll be a miracle if they could come back, but I don't think it's going to happen. Three touchdowns. With that accelerated clock, I think the game is won. They're going to try, though. So let's do a bunch of deep stuff here. I'm just a... Nope, they're going with this. Who knows what they're going to call. Play action. It got tipped. I might have tipped it, or the other guy could have tipped it. Going with this reverse play, fake reverse, however they want to do it. That's a good stop, Al. I took a chance and went after the guy who had the ball. I didn't know if he was going to pitch it back or... I'm here to tell you, those, some of those trick plays are confusing me. Intercepted. Oh, that should have been picked. So it's fourth and nine. They're definitely going to go for it. Let's just pick another deep ball. I picked the wrong play. I'm going to go back. Oh, he's wide open at the bottom. Are they going to throw it to him? Went to the wrong guy. There was a guy super wide open now. I'm guessing their, their quarterback isn't very good. You can see some stats. That's pretty cool to see. They're, oh, I forgot Herschel Walker's on the team. He was... This must have been after he was at Dallas. I, I don't know my Herschel Walker NFL history very well. I know he got... He was at Dallas and he got traded. But he plays for Minnesota in this game. That's pretty cool. All right. That is Tecmo Super Bowl. Again, one thing... I mean, we could click on, like, season. And you can set up your schedule. And you got standings and ranking. This is a lot of cool stuff. So if I wanted to do a series, I could definitely do a season, that type of thing. Or I can go and, you know, we could do playbook videos. We could do team breakdowns. Because this is a game I think is worth learning if you like this type of gameplay. Like, again, it's very simplistic, but the strategy is extremely deep. A lot of it has to do with the teams and their... Like the New York Giants, this is like arguably the best team in the game. They really have very few weaknesses. But you can just go in here and just fool around with rosters and look at their, you know, look at their ratings and stuff and see kind of what's there and such. And then fool around with the playbook and see if it matches up pretty well with what you want to do. Maybe there's certain plays that just work well, period. It just kind of depends on how you want to do that. There's just so much uh, avenues to take with this game. Now... The Super Nintendo has a few Tecmo games as well. Tecmo Super Bowl 2, or Tecmo Super Bowl 2, 3, Final Edition, or whatever it's called. I've heard those games are pretty good as well, but the regular Nintendo, the NES version of Tecmo Super Bowl, this is like the holy grail to all the big-time players out there. So if you want to get into any of them, I probably would select this one, because it just takes you a long time to get used to all the rosters, get to know them all all the playbooks and such. So I, if I if it was me, I would definitely start here and just roll with it. So let me know what you all think about this. I think this is a lot of fun. This is one definitely worth 
playing around with more. It's more than the East Play football game I played a couple of days ago. That's a fun game, but it's way too basic. There's not a whole lot to it. There's a whole lot of depth to this one. So I uh, hope you enjoyed all that. Come on back, and I'll talk to you guys later.